All right, welcome to chapter two, force systems, force systems. Okay, let's jump right into it. We we'll begin by looking at force. Okay, what do we want to do in this chapter? We want to study the effects of forces acting on engineering structures and mechanisms. Okay, these are just some questions that can guide our um, study. Okay. What does it mean for the net external effect of external forces to be the same? So I just want you to get this into your thinking, the net external effect. All right. And where can we apply this idea, the, this, the net external effect of the forces being the same? What does it mean? What am I talking about? What is the textbook talking about? All right. So one of the big ideas in uh, in this next couple of videos is uh, how do we deal with forces if we consider them if we consider the body to be rigid versus the body being deformable? Okay, so that's kind of how to answer that question. So let's so. Have this in mind, okay? If if I assume a body is rigid, how can I deal with the forces? And if I assume a body is deformable, um, how do I deal with the forces? Okay. By the way, deformable body mechanics is an advanced topic which we don't cover in this course, right? This course we cover rigid body mechanics, okay? All right. So let's look at this example. Here we have a bracket attached to a wall or something, and it's bolted, and we have a cable that is also pin connected over there. And here we have a little diagram. Now you can see that this force being applied to this bracket, that if you change the magnitude of that force, right, that tension is larger or, or, or smaller, if you change the direction, or if you ch change the point of application, you you apply it at some different point. You can see that it's going to have an effect on on those bolts. It's going to have a, an effect on what's happening internally. Okay. So, if we want to know exactly what's happening internally to this structure, um, if we want the effect that it has on, on those bolts, for example, then we need a complete specification of the action of the force. What do we mean? We mean that we need to define um, its magnitude, its direction, and its point of application. It's a fixed vector, right? If we change any of this, any of these three items, you can imagine it will change what's happening on the inside, right? If you apply this force P, at, not at A, but at that point, you can imagine it will change what's happening on the inside, okay? But uh, uh, you can see where we're setting you up to understand that that this, the way what, would, what we're looking at here is if we are analyzing deformable bodies then this point of application, this point, this third point, this point of application is important. Okay. But we'll get to that. Okay. So now let's look at this. Um, actually, that's enough for this video. I'll see you in the next one.